Hey, good afternoon, everybody. We're the Two Old Farts. My name's Chuck. I'm Lou. I look better looking at the Two Old Farts. Who's better looking, girls? I feel like every time he comes, yeah, it's always me. the same argument. It, it, it is. Yeah, it is. I think that's a draw. I win. <laughs> Pie goes to the house. No. See, I'm the house. You got outvoted, old man. Yeah, you got your t-shirt on, I don't. I know. <laughs> I was going to wear mine. I wore mine because she's here. But your mom makes it. <laughs> Eat corn, old man. She said, I had to look nice. You do look nice. What's wrong with the t-shirt? I had to shave. I didn't shave today. <laughs> Did you buy a razor? No, I have. I got tons of razors. I, I just, girls. I just didn't buy a razor. I just didn't want to shave. So who we got here? Mm-hmm. Who's this? Lydia. Who's Lydia? Me. All right. And who else we have here? Oh, who's this? <laughs> You're not saying that, okay? And who's the other person? Isabel. Isabel. And Hannah doesn't want me. Where are you guys from? No, Dad. Anyway, my oldest daughter is here visiting, and she brought the grandkids, so we got three of them right here. Fourth one's downstairs with their father. So we didn't have an episode recorded last week because it was a busy weekend. It was a sad loss for Alabama. We'll talk about that later. And then on Sunday, I had to catch a, a plane to... Washington, D.C. to attend the uh, the uh, Air Force Association uh, Airspace and Cyber Conference and got back Thursday, the same day my grandkids got here. And today we're recording this episode. We're going to make pizzas in the uni oven, right? Like we did the last time. Right. Everybody happy? Yeah. Everybody excited? Yeah. Did you like the pizzas? Yeah. So what kind of pizza are you going to have? Pepperoni pizza. Pepperoni? Yep. Cheese and pepperoni. Cheese and pepperoni. I'm saying. No. No. Argue with what kind you going to Pineapple pizza? Yeah, you don't put pineapple on pizza. You got pineapple on your pizza? No, I don't even like pineapple. Exactly. Although I used to eat buckets of pineapple. You can eat pineapple, just don't put it on a pizza. Pineapple. Only communists do that. You know what? This sounds like we need to do a Twitter poll. Do you, is it a crime to put pepper, uh, Pineapple on pizza, <laughs> kind of like the the toilet paper debate. Like you fold or what or, or uh, the next time we have wad it up, we're going to have a, a contest and talk about football. What kind of contest? See what people know about football. See what how many coaches over seven hundred percent. How many I, universities are the top many universities? I don't think our I don't think our audience would 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 maybe know that. That's that's a that's a lot of that's like an Aflac trivia question or something. Yeah, it is. But it's an easy answer. How many no, coaches are over, active? Coaches are over seven hundred. How many? A bunch of them. Oh yeah. If there's a bunch, I don't know. Twenty. Thirty. More. About fifty. Fifty. Well, let me go back and look at the history of the school, and some of them don't. I, I thought you said active. No, no. Total period. Okay, how many active? Oh, I don't know. Talk about 30. 40. Well, you, if there was 50 all the time, now you're saying there's 30 or 40 active coaches? But the thing about it is, some of them only coach for a few years, and they have a, some of them coach forever. Some of them went to different universities and stuff like that. But what university has the most coaches over 700% winning percentage? I'm going to go out on a limb and say Alabama. Four coaches. No one scoop four. Everybody else Wallace, has two. Was it Wade Wallace? Wallace or Wade. Wallace Wade. Bear Bryant. Frank Thomas. Frank Thomas. And uh, Nate Saban. Yeah. All of the head coaches that won national championships. 700%. And they all won national championships. They all won national championships. Uh, Snowlands, does he have over 700 He's right low, 500. I don't remember exactly between five and 600. It must have been AM that drug that number down. Well, not just AM, it was just a little, little bit of the Alabama, too. Yeah, a little bit. Well, not Alabama. He, he only lost like 
six or eight, ten games this whole uh, He was only there like three years, wasn't he? Uh, it was uh, like six years. I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, so check this out, Dad. We're we're getting close to 3,000. We got 2,846. Um, on the international side of our audience, check this out. So we picked up Guatemala, Australia, two from Canada, and check this out. The uh, the, the Canada one, it, they're all from Ontario, just like all the others. But the Australia one, this is a new province from Victoria. We've never had from from there. That's pretty neat. Yeah, I think we've had from like the Northwest Territory and maybe Queensland or New South Wales, I think, but but not. Not Victoria, so we got a pretty good international audience. Yeah. What do you think about that, girls? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Can you believe in this month alone the most downloads have come from Kansas? <gasps> oh wow. And we're tied with Virginia, Florida, and California. No, I take that back. California has more downloads than Texas. Hmm. We gotta get on the ball here. Yeah, we gotta tell people. Like, tell your parents to download the episodes and listen. Maybe you could download the episodes and listen. You got your phone, right? I have a phone. Oh wow! They need to get her one so that I can have her watch, <laughs> so I can get close enough to a phone. Yeah, you can tell all those girls in the Girl Scouts with you, right? Okay. There's seventy. So remember, we're gonna have a poll. About what do we have a poll about? I just forgot. Pizza topping. Pizza toppings. That's right. Thanks for helping me remember. And what pizza topping are we gonna have a poll about? Pineapple. Pineapple. Pineapple's good, but not on the pizza. Oh yeah. Even better when you have a pineapple sandwich. Oh my God! You are such. Have a pineapple sandwich. Oh, people. Two pieces of bread. Pineapple. And mayonnaise. Oh, he is so country. So country. But, well, since we're going to talk about gross food that you ate growing up, what other gross <laughs> things did you eat growing up? We had peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. What else did you we put? fried bologna. Well, I eat fried bologna too, but what else yeah. What else did you put on with peanut butter? We had peanut butter and jelly. Did you, what would you put mayonnaise on? Peanut butter. Yeah. Did you hear that, people? Banana. Peanut butter, mayonnaise, and banana. And banana. Yeah. That is probably the nastiest thing I've ever heard of. That sounds good. That sounds gross. That yeah. sounds gross. But you know what? I think that sounds like another poll, doesn't it? What? See, now what you guys got to do, you got to go back home, talk to your friends about all this stuff, and then when we have the next podcast, you got to call in and tell us about it. And tell yeah. us what your friends think about what. Peanut butter, North, mayonnaise, and banana Texas, sandwiches. Right? Don't you live in North Texas? Mm. Northwest Texas? <laughs> so, no, they don't live in Northwest Texas. At any rate, um, West Texas? At any rate, <laughs> we don't talk about mayonnaise and banana and peanut butter on sandwiches because that's just nasty. Slack. It is. It's good slack. It is. When you're from the south, that's what you eat. And peanut butter and pineapple. Doesn't that sound nasty too? <laughs> <laughs> and what else did you eat growing up that was just nasty? I don't know. Wasn't it buttermilk and bread? Cornbread. In 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 a glass. In a glass. Cornbread, buttermilk. So I didn't drink too much butter. I was just sweet milk with cornbread. And, and why don't you tell the audience who doesn't know what crackers and milk? Okay, look, look, look here at the camera. Speak into the microphone and tell these people what sweet milk is. Sweet milk. That's... So if you were to go to the grocery store, do they sell sweet milk? Does it say sweet on the sweet milk on the no, carton? It says H E B. Now that's a, that's a store. Sweet milk. People, this this country hick right here. Is trying to tell you that they, they sell sweet milk, but they don't. What they sell is just milk, not not two percent, not low fat, 
Well, you, it's you, just regular compare it whole to buttermilk, which is sweet, which is sour. Well, God, anything is sweeter than buttermilk. <laughs> oh my God, this is this is this is horrible, horrible. That's just what good old country folks live. He he eats nasty food. He can't take a hint that you know we're not trying to say where my grandkids live. <laughs> he can't pick up on that hint. He's just hopeless, and he eats nasty food. People, yeah. Who's your brother like it up? Hmm. This guy. Hmm. Soft eyes. Hmm. <laughs> anyway. So what happened on Saturday night in Tuscaloosa? Uh, we got out kicked. We did. But I got to give it to Texas. Oh, yeah. They kicked our field up, our, our yeah, butts up and down the, the field. We got out coached, out played, out hustled, everything. But you know what I like about Coach Saban and all the great coaches? He didn't throw his players on the bus. Well, no. Yeah, a lot of coaches will do that. Why would he throw the players under the bus? They weren't prepared. A lot of, a lot of coaches will put the blame on somebody else. They weren't per- than accepting the responsibility themselves. You know who I blame for this loss? And I love Alabama being alumni. You know who I blame? I blame Nick Saban. No, absolutely. If we don't look any different than we did last year, and we have a new offensive coordinator and a new defensive coordinator, you can't blame it on that either. Who hires the coordinators? Nick Saban. And if we look if we look the same as we did last year. The only thing he didn't do that I was surprised that he would do it in the past. Usually he'll make changes a little quicker. Nope. Didn't make changes either. Yeah. Didn't do that. Kept going back to the run, didn't he? Yeah. That didn't work out too good, did it? Well, we tried to pass the ball, but we didn't do too good either. Yeah, we our receivers couldn't get open. We couldn't block a three man rush. A three man rush. They didn't blitz five, six guys. What that tells me, we didn't do a good job of preparation. That's what I just said, old man. Didn't I just say? Didn't I just say the coaches didn't have the players prepared? I thought I just said the coaches didn't have the players prepared. Having the players prepared and having the preparation for the game from a coach's perspective. Thanks. Get closer to the microphone, old man. You don't. You must not be hearing me. No, I, I can't hear you. These are not working. Oh, you know why? Uh, Hang on a second. <laughs> you didn't turn it on. I didn't turn on the mixer. <laughs> so you, Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, now I can hear you. You want to talk about me, huh? Um, I didn't turn on the mixer. <laughs> He's wearing headphones and he can't. The only thing I'm hearing is what you're saying to me. And you know what? They probably couldn't hear because it's probably the microphone off the laptop. This is probably going to be the... the <laughs> Most poorly sounding episode we've recorded. Probably, uh, probably the best. <laughs> oh no, man! This is what happens. This is what happens when you have grandkids in the room. You just lose it. Man. Well, it your fault. You didn't say anything, did you? No. Nope. No. They're just agreeing with you. You're like, I'm like, holy smokes, man! What the heck's going on here? I wasn't just like Nick Saban. <laughs> he wasn't prepared. That's right. So yeah, that's that's just my opinion as as a fan. Um, it was a tough loss, but it was a it was a good loss. No, it wasn't. It was a horrible loss. No, it was a good loss from a point from a learning point. And the players of everything I've read this week about the players and how they're honoring up to their mistakes and not being ready and what they're learning from it. The message that they, they look flat, like they were nervous. Which means they take the game serious. So I, I don't know what to say. Well, I, th- I think it's a lot of psychology, too. When you're going to a game thinking, I can beat these, and the other guys. I don't know what's going on. So, so it says we're in low data mode. Place and... What? 
Never mind. Okay. Never mind. Oh, never mind. Clapping. You just beat the mood right out of the way. It's a rough crowd here. They fight. As you can see throughout the rest of the video, they're fighting the entire time. Ah, okay. Don't do that. That's not nice. She can't see. Yeah. Can you wave to the people? So don't just download the podcast and listen to it. Maybe go to our YouTube channel and, and so check it so you can check out the shenanigans going yeah. on over here. Everybody, get your friends to listen. You too! That means you too! Get your friends to listen. You too! I'm, I'm recording this. I know what I'm saying. If I download it, it's like cheating. No, it's not. Well, just to get the numbers up, it is like cheating. <laughs> Because as you can see, we don't have huge we don't have huge numbers of downloads. <laughs> yeah, what, two for Florida? Two for Florida. One for Michigan. Well, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. We don't have I might what, what, talk to your mom, brothers and sisters and like brothers. so far, this you know. month we've only had twenty two downloads this month. Oh wow. Like the last episode that we did we had 12 in the first week, but 15 in the first month. So we haven't really gone over 30. Like uh, episode 15, when I got back from Germany. No, when I was in Germany, that got 27 downloads. So we're working on getting better at consistency. we got to work on our content and not make these technical mistakes, like forgetting to turn on the mixer so you can hear better sound. Here, sit on there. Okay. So, what are we talking about now? I don't know. Um, let me look. Let me look at the calendar real quick. So, yeah, I was out of town last weekend or last week. We watched the Alabama game, which was, you know, it was what it was. I tell you a game that I was impressed with, and a coach I'm impressed with this year. That's Colorado. Of course, uh, uh, Coach Prime. Yeah. Those guys came to play, and they showed they, they showed the preparation and showed the emotion. But more importantly, hey, he's recruiting out there. I know everybody wants to go to Colorado. No, so. What? what are you doing? It's not cool. Well, she's not going to be. No. Yeah. <laughs> the Eagles did pretty good this weekend. What? They, they won last. Was it last night they won? Yeah, they played last night. Yeah. Um, they, who, who did they play? Um, I don't remember who they played. Philadelphia? That's the Eagles. Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't matter. I, I don't watch NFL anymore. Yeah, got, got the Patriots coming up this weekend, so I watch it. Who? who? The Patriots. Yeah, who? who are the Patriots playing? Who? He said, I don't remember who's playing. Who? So, so the know. Patriots play every week, Dad. I know they're playing, so I want to start watching this a little bit. So. See right here. Yeah. See. Yep. yep, that's you right there. Yep. I'm <laughs> <laughs> not actually going to wait until then. Yes, you are. You're our sister. Hey, <laughs> sissy, let me let me know. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think we. Too much. I know. I don't think we have any concerts coming up either right now. I don't think we do. Sunday, tomorrow. No, today's Friday. So Sunday, Brendan and I are going to go see Sting up in Austin. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to go see an old punk band called Fear. They're on their Fear Well tour. So I'll be seeing them in Austin at the end of next week. Uh, I don't really have anything until October. Yeah, October's got a lot of concerts. Yeah. We got our DAV meeting tomorrow. Yep, we do. One important thing we're going to talk about doing the fundraiser. So, some raffle tickets for 75 inch okay. TV. Really nice grill. Okay. 
Two hundred fifty dollars gift certificate at HEB. Is there some money? Well, follow the news. It sounds like fun. We'll be doing that in February, I think. Well, since we're not having a lot of stuff on the air <laughs> and uh, it's getting kind of crazy in here, we're going to go ahead and uh, cut this thing short just a little bit. Well. And we'll try to record something maybe next week. Sounds good. What are we going to talk about? Next week? Oh, on the poll? Pineapple on a pizza. And what was the other one? Um, Disgusting foods? I don't know. I'll I'll, I'll try. I'll I'll go back and watch the episode and see if I can remember what I said. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Say goodbye.